boys and girls. I'm the reading teacher. Thanks for joining me today. I found a book at the library yesterday and I thought this is such a sweet story that I wanted to share it with you. It's written and illustrated by David Barrow and the title is, Have You Seen Elephant? And I want you to look at the front cover because there's Elephant hiding behind a tree that he's holding. And the little boy who's playing hide and seek with him is sort of looking like, where is Elephant? Look, even the dog is sitting right next to him, staring up at him. I have a question for you. I want us to start thinking, even before we open up the story, we're gonna start thinking. It seems to me that these two characters are playing hide and seek. It would make sense because the title is, Have You Seen Elephant? And this little boy, is pretending not to see him? Or do you think he really can't see him? I'm gonna let you think about that and we'll talk about it at the end of the story. Here we go. Have you seen Elephant? I love the end papers. Looks like David Barrow has drawn some of his family pictures for us. Have you seen Elephant? How would you like to play hide and seek? Okay, you hide. And I love, look at, remember I told you to think about if he, do you think that he, the boy can really see him or do you think he really can't see him when he's hiding? So you're thinking about that, but here's some clues. Look at that little smile. I must warn you though, I'm very good. I'll try my best. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming, ready or not. Where could he be? Not under here. Have you seen elephant? What elephant? Maybe I'll try outside. I can't find elephant. Never mind, dear. give up. There you are. Hey, what are you playing? Hide and seek. Would you like to play tag? Okay. I must warn you though. What do you think he's going to say? If it, fits, if it fits with the pattern with what the elephant said about being really good at hide and seek and being really hard to find, what do you think the turtle would say? He wants to play tag. I'm very good. And what do you think the little boy is going to say? Yes? I think so. This little boy is so, so sweet and is showing friendship throughout this story. How is he showing friendship? How is he showing that he is a good friend in this book? Can you think about that? Does it also go along with the question that I asked you at the beginning, whether or not you thought he really couldn't see the elephant or he saw the elephant, he was just being nice, letting the elephant have a really long turn. I think you're right. And if you notice, if you go back and look at the story, it's really cute to see the dog because the dog sees him in every picture and maybe even gives it away. But the boy just pretends he doesn't see the dog. 
seeing the elephant. It's so sweet. Could you think of another character for the story? After they play tag, this little boy and the turtle and the elephant and the dog, who else might come along? Could you think of something? Maybe a snail might come around and say what? What could the snail say that he's really good at? That he's really not really good at. Or a bird. Maybe the bird might say, would you like to play soccer? Maybe the bird thinks he's good at soccer. Do you think birds would be good at soccer with their little legs? No, they're way better at flying than running, aren't they? Hmm. Can you think of another character that would be interesting? What about... Um, an a ant that said, let's play basketball. Or a sloth that said, I'm really fast at track. Let's run track. That would be a really funny one, to see a sloth trying to run around the track. I think this is such a good book, boys and girls. It tells a lot about friendship, about being caring and kind to your friends. Sometimes it's okay to let them win, isn't it? And I hope this book got you thinking about what kind of a friend you are to some of your friends. I hope you have a great day. I look forward to the next story we'll read together.